way you should not feel fine. This is the program where we look at things that seem unreal, but are actually real. So this topic on this video is going to be the California exit. Yes, the secession of the state of California from the Union. Wow, I didn't think that could happen. So if you want to find out more about it, keep listening. Okay, so California exit. What is it all about? Well, there's actually a movement called Yes, California. This is a thing that was joked about in The Daily Show. I remember Trevor Noah talking about it. Oh, things with Donald Trump are so bad. The state's going to leave. California is going to leave. Ha, 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 ha. Everybody's laughing about it. Well, maybe it's something to laugh about. I don't know. I'm going to give you some information. You see what you think. It's Groundhog Day, February 2nd. All this information is up now. I'm saving backups of everything in case it disappears after I put it out there and let you know about it. So it's there now. I can provide backup information if needed to whoever is looking for it. So the Yes California movie was actually started about a month ago, December 2016. There's a guy by the name of Joseph or Louis Marinelli. Louis Marinelli. He's actually he is a New Yorker and he lives in Russia of all places. He voted for Donald Trump, although he claims he's not a Republican. Now, what's interesting is Lewis gets all of his funding for this thing from the Russian government. The Russian government is paying to put a movement forward for the, California, the state of California to secede from the Union. If they get 594,000 signatures on the petition that's on their website, so if you go to Yes California, they have a website, you can sign up on the petition, 594,000 signatures, puts it on the ballot for the 2018 election. Wow! <clears throat> Why would Russia want to do that? Okay, well, to know that, I think you might have to look at the economy of the state of California and why it could be important to the United States. So let's look at that and see that the state of California, these are Wikipedia pages that I'm looking at, it is actually the sixth largest economy in the world. It is right behind the U.S., China, Japan, Germany, and the United Kingdom. I do not see Russia on that list. I can't imagine why Russia would be interested in possibly splitting the United States. There's two and a half trillion dollars worth of gross domestic product coming out of California. So imagine what would happen if the United States did not have that money as part of its whole. That would kind of like maybe shuffle the order around to some of these countries. So now you're thinking, okay, now a state just can't leave the union. There's gotta be some rules and regulations to do it. And there is. Thank God we've got the Constitution. Oh, phew. oh man. Well, wait a minute, though. The, the interesting thing about the Constitution is the Constitution can be amended as long as you have two-thirds of the states agreeing to have something done. So I just happened to be listening to a radio show coming home the other day, and I heard this news where the guy was talking about that fact as far as a constitutional amendment, and talking about how right now the Republicans have control of so many states that they're only two states away, two states away from being able to have two-thirds majority, and therefore being able to do a constitutional amendment. Now, I don't hear anybody talking about this. It's really kind of flying under the radar. There's some interesting things that you can find out. It's on Snopes. About two days ago, Snopes thought this was important enough to look at, and it's true. So it's been verified. There's a couple other articles about it, so you may want to read up on it. Kind of an interesting thing. So what can you do about it? Well, I'm trying to do a call for action today. I'm seeing so many alarming things that it really does look like things are coming to kind of a head, and they're happening very quickly. So I'm releasing all the videos right after Groundhog Day. I'm making them on Groundhog Day. They're coming out very soon after I make them. So what we're looking at is we're looking at people getting involved. So if you're in the state of California, you may not want to sign that petition. If it does come up on your ballot, you probably don't want to vote for it. If they end up voting for it, the people are in the Republican states, probably not a good idea to support this movement because it seems like Russia might have a real interest in having this happen. So if you're interested in anything that I have, anything else that's going on, what you can do is you can follow me on Twitter. And actually... If you don't want to get involved directly, if you want to be kind of lazy, you've heard some of the things that I'm presenting, you like what you're hearing, follow me on Twitter and give me a vote. That's my Twitter handle right there. It's at real sock in it. Goofy name. I have another video on why I did that. I have a bunch of other videos that you can look at on YouTube. They're going to be under that same search, at real sock in it. Look at YouTube. Find out the videos. I've got all the topics listed. But the most important thing is follow me on Twitter. Give me your vote. 
Donald Trump right now has 23 million Twitter followers. And I think you know how he likes to use Twitter. So it would be nice maybe to have somebody that had a voice to get the word out to people to let them know about little stuff like this or the stuff in my other videos. So check them out. Thanks for your vote.